This is the plaintiff, Christopher Palocelli. He says the defendant is his ex-girlfriend, and she borrowed money from him to help out a so-called friend. When he wasn't getting his money back, he asked for the so-called friend's number. She kept putting him off, refuses to give it to him, and now he's here suing for the $4,708.71 he loaned her. This is the defendant, Stephanie. She says she met the plaintiff in a taxi cab. He was driving and they started dating. The guy whined and dined her. He promised to pay her for a breast augmentation surgery. He told her he wanted to take her on vacation and said he was gonna start looking for an engagement ring. He even opened a credit card for her to use. Even though they were dating, they were never sexual. And once she rebuffed his advances, everything he bought for her suddenly turned into loans. Ha! Oh, and for gifts? No way. She's accused of taking a guy for a ride. All parties, please get ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says his ex-girlfriend kept asking for money for a friend of hers. Finally, he broke right. down and gave it to her, and guess what? He never got paid back. The, the defendant says the plaintiff is a cab driver who had the hots for her and gave her all the money as a gift. It's the case of taxi cab confession. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Palacelli, you are suing Stephanie for $4,708.71 that you sent her way during a how many month relationship? About three months. Three months. How'd you to meet? Well, I had taken initially a couple of times in my taxi. We exchanged numbers. And she called me up. Her boyfriend was not too nice to her. She was all crying. I picked her up. I brought her home. By not too nice, what do you mean? I uh, was smacking her around. Did you call him to pick you up? When Correct. OK. And what happened? He picks you up and what? Where does he take you? And he just dropped me off at my house. OK. And then you two exchanged numbers? Yes. And did you start dating? Not right away. All right. So you start dating how much later? Maybe like. Three weeks. All after. right. And when's the first time that you that you transfer money to her, whether it's a loan, as you say, or a gift, as she says? When is the first time that happens? Well, the first time would be when her friend was in trouble with the court in Jersey. She asked me to lend her $1,500 so she wouldn't go to for jail. For a friend? For her friend, Rebecca. And you said yes? She promised me because supposedly she was going to sell her house uh, September Who's she? 28th. Rebecca, who you've Rebecca, never met? Rebecca. You yes. never met Rebecca. No, but I thought I lent it to her. She lent it to Rebecca. Right, but why? If you had no clue whether Rebecca would pay it back? Because she guaranteed me she'd pay it. Well, how's she going to pay it back? What does she do for a living? Um, she's a bartender. And if she had the money, wouldn't she loan it to Rebecca? I would assume so, yes. Right, That's why so she asked it sounds me. like she doesn't have the money. So right. if she doesn't have the money, to loan it to Rebecca, why would you give her the money to give to Rebecca without knowing Rebecca and not and without I'm speaking just to Rebecca? To help somebody out. Somebody you don't know. Everybody. Who's Rebecca? She was three months for Who's Rebecca? Friend. Did you ask him for fifteen hundred dollars because Rebecca had some problem with the courts? I asked him. And? And he gave it to me. And he gave it to you, and you gave it to Rebecca. Yes. And who's supposed to pay that back? Her. But he doesn't even know her. Exactly. Right, but he gave it to you, so right. the money is supposed to get paid back. Of course, it was supposed to get paid back. That, okay. I, that, I, I agree on that. Okay, but then... Well, we never signed any contract or anything. It was just word of mouth. Right, but you're, you agree yes. with what he said, yeah. that you asked, hey, can I have $1,500 yes. to loan to Rebecca? Yes. And he said, okay. Yes. And that Rebecca's supposed to pay you back. Yes. And was there ever any inkling that if Rebecca didn't, you were guaranteeing no. it. Did you ever say to him, if she doesn't pay you back, I will? No. And according to you, she did? Yes. All right, let's move on to the then. next item. What else is there that you gave her? Well, she was in dire straits with money, and her credit was horrible. So besides what I'm asking for, I helped her out plenty to get her back on her feet. How? I, was, I paid a couple of months of credit card payments for her, which I don't expect to get back. I did that so she can straighten A couple of months of what? Credit card payments? Yes. Okay. So then she lost one job, then she lost another job. And I said, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you, I'll get out a, um, I have a Discover card. 
And I gave her one with her name on it, and she said, oh, this is good, because when I make the payments on it, it will boost my credit rating. So that's telling me she's going to pay the credit card that she ran up. And besides that, she asked me to pay her phone bill because she was thousands Wait, of debt. Wait, why? You, you, you're mad and you're slamming the table. And meanwhile, no, I want to here. rewind to the part where you put a, give her a credit card in her name on your account. What, like, why did you do that? She assured me she'd pay me. I, we yeah, were but dating why at the would time. you believe that when she, you were already into it for fifteen hundred? It wasn't too soon oh, after I that. Oh, I know. I got an idea why. Well, you got the wrong idea, Judge. Do I have the wrong idea? Yes, you do. I do? Yes, you do. I don't know, man. I got eyeballs. You take a look at me. I'm not 20, honey. You know, come on, No, Judge. you're not. How old are you? I'm 59. And how old are you? 27. Oh. So you had a girlfriend <laughs> who was less than half your age. Were you having sex? Nope. Not absolutely yet. not. Oh, not yet. Uh, absolutely not. No. Oh, you have your limits. <laughs> you don't mind taking him for a ride, but you... Hey, listen, I respect that. Respect, lady. You know, it's, but I'm not going to give this, you know? So, never? No. And you dated three months? Is that your normal timetable or just with him? Actually, four. Four is your normal timetable or you dated four months? No. Like, you have to be on time out for four months first. And then, if I like you... So that like, really no, is no. your normal timetable? Yes. Why were you dating a guy more than twice your age? Other age than the fact that he opened up a credit do, card, paid all your credit card bills, and support, and paid for your nails to be done, paid for what else? For meals out. What else did she use with the credit card for? Oh, various things. Like what? Nails, hair, uh, lift taxis, uh, plane ticket to Miami. Without but, you? <laughs> yeah, because Rebecca's mother died. <laughs> Yeah, that just... I don't think there's a Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is a Rebecca? Yeah. You know there is? Because she promised to give me a phone number, which never materialized either. That's what makes you believe there's a Rebecca? Yeah. She promised well, let to... me ask you a question. Why let me ask you a, a question. Like Why do you believe there's a Rebecca? <laughs> How many tickets to Miami? Her and a companion? No, just herself. Who'd you go to Miami with? By myself. <laughs> Who'd you stay with? In a hotel. What'd you go there for? For fun. There was no funeral? No. Did you tell him there was, though? Um, yeah. No, you didn't. No, she, she's agreeing with you that she oh. told you there was a funeral. Right. Right. Uh, how long you been using men like this? Always? Mm, no, not really. I don't know whether to think you're a terrible person. I probably do. But <laughs> I, I also think, like, what were you thinking, right? In other words, this seems to be a very symbiotic relationship. You've got some hot tamale half your age who basically takes you for a ride for three months uh, to the tune of $4,708.71. But is it really taking you for a ride? It's basically she accepts every penny you throw her way. Exactly. And oh, you cannot wait to throw pennies her way. You just can't wait to pay off things, buy her, th put a credit card here. Just, you know what? Don't even ask me for any more money. Just take the credit card and spend it how you see fit. And every month I'll pay all of the stuff that you're buying on the credit card. And everything's no. great because you're my girlfriend. I get to tell people you're my girlfriend. That wasn't the agreement. You're my girlfriend. What? That wasn't the agreement. What was the agreement? She was going to pay everything back. That was, that's why I gave it she to her. She doesn't strike me like that type. <laughs> oh, she only lies about something. No, not all. I mean, she doesn't strike me like the type who thinks that she is going to have to pay back. She, oh. That doesn't have to pretend she's going to have to pay back. He offered to pay for a boob job to do yes, what? For my Bigger? Butt. Yeah. Was that his idea or yours? He said he loves big boobs. Oh, and man. I like big boobs too. So he said he doesn't mind. So maybe you should date So was woman. it your idea or his idea? We were talking about it um, over lunch. And I said, I think I want to get a break augmentation. He's like, I love big boobs. Let's do it. So, okay. And then he said, I'll pay for it? Of course. I don't but remember no, that. But it never went past that? No. OK. Do you have any evidence that, she's supposed to, that she herself is supposed to pay you back any of these sums? Well, I have text messages from her telling me, well, if you want to be an idiot, I can be an idiot. And she's not going to pay me anything. And, with some nice language in the text messages. Okay, I'd like to see the text messages. Did he propose in those three months? He um, offered, like, to buy me say? a ring. He said he wants to buy me a diamond ring, and he wants me to be his wife. 
And what did you say? I said, I'd like a diamond <laughs> ring. What did you say? <laughs> I want a diamond ring. <laughs> and so did he get you one? No, we were looking, though. And, we and, and what, how did the breakup happen? Um, so he started getting frustrated because we were not getting intimate. And I let him know I was not ready for that. So as soon as I said that, he canceled the credit card. Uh -huh. And then he just like started canceling all the orders that I placed. And he just said, we can't be together. He asked me for his house Hold keys on, back. I can't have you mumbling Sorry. while someone's testifying. Go okay. ahead. He asked me for his house keys back. And then that's it. He said I started, I had to pay everything that he and gave when, me. And what had happened in the three months leading up to that? Like, was there ever a time? Like, how is it he didn't make a move? Or was he it tried, discussed? But I was and you I would say what? That I'm not ready for that. Right would now. you kiss? Yeah. OK. And then you would just tell him, I'm not ready for that. And would you tell him when you were going to be ready? When, just when I decided that it was going to be the right moment. OK. And I guess he started getting frustrated. And When did you guys break up? November. Middle November. He was still trying to get back with me, though, since that whole time. He even said if I got back with him, I, we could forget this whole mess. I never said that. Yeah, I have the text message. Pull yeah, it okay. out. November 23rd, how are you? What's it going to be about the loan? Today is Saturday. Rebecca's number would be appreciated. Ha! You canceled my Macy's order. <laughs> and you want to hit me up? You're out of your mind. I told you I'm the wrong one to play with. <laughs> I canceled the card because we aren't together. I don't give a blank. I'll see you in court. Have a good day. You want to be a jerk? I can be a bigger jerk. November 25th, hello from him. Do you want to resolve this between us? November 26th, good morning from him. Since you didn't respond, I'll have to take legal action. Sorry, but you have forced the issue. November 27th, I miss you and, uh, and lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want the other money because I love you, but I want the bills I paid for you. You promised me you would pay me. What bills? We were in a relationship. You offered to pay my bills. You didn't want me to work. What do you mean he didn't want you to work? He made me quit my night job. I did not. Yes, you did. Because what? Because uh -huh. he didn't think it was like appropriate, you know, men, dealing with other men, stuff like that. And, and therefore, what were you going to do all day? He said he was going to, whatever I made those nights, he would just give it to me weekly. Yeah, yeah, but okay. what were you going to do with your life? Like, what do you do? I'm an event what coordinator by day. Say it again. Event coordinator by day. Oh, OK. So, so you had, he I wanted a, you to quit your night job. job. Night OK, job. I got it. She got fired from a night job because he I wanted didn't get her to fired work. From my night he job. wanted her to work five days a week. And she said, I'm not doing <laughs> okay. that. So he, she got fired. I didn't get fired. Yes, she did. No, $1,500 for eyelashes? Oh, from China, her business. <laughs> it's a business. What do you mean? So I have my own company. Of? So he, it's like cosmetics. So he offered to she help me build to my, help me build the business up, and he was gonna open up a salon for me as well. <laughs> oh my god! How long do you think that man was gonna wait? Like how you think enough to <laughs> long enough to launch a business? I mean, <laughs> I'm not even trying to. Recoup. I don't see what you told me I would find. That when I said you promised to repay me, she said you're not getting it in so many words. And so many words is really not, you know, like, you're not getting the money I owe you was what I thought I was going to read. Right. But instead, it, it was, I want the money you owe me, and her saying, those were gifts. You couldn't wait to lavish me with gifts. It's exactly her defense. So if I missed it, I have now scrolled through weeks and weeks of nonsense. But, you know, listen, if you want to put yourself in a sugar daddy situation, why are you coming whining to me now? I'm not whining, Judge. I want what she told me she was going to pay me. You're going to have to prove that that was a loan and not what it looks like. But why else would I pay her bill? She I'll asked me. I'll tell you me. why. Because you're a 60-year-old man dating a 27-year-old child. That's, That's not why. why. That's not why. Well, it's not that'll, keep, why. that'll keep you in business. You get to trot her around. And you get to you, and, and, and she's not just any 27-year-old. She's that 27-year-old. And then, you know, while there's the promise of one day intimacy, and then the minute there's no intimacy, boom, everything gets canceled. All the credit cards get canceled. That's not why they you got canceled. You gambled, and you didn't win the gamble. That's not what happened. You're that's right. exactly what happened. That's and not what happened. And until you you see that that's what happened, it's going to happen to you again. No. Nah. <laughs> so let me just give you a little piece of free legal advice. The next time you find a cha-cha who's 20-something who you want to hang with, more power hats off to you. But if money you're showering on her are loans and not 
you're buying her, then make sure you get those in writing. She offered to sign it, too, and I said, no, I trust what you. What a pity. What a pity, because now she's saying that you are completely making that up and that the only reason you're suing her is because she wouldn't have sex with you. And now that's where we are. You with zero proof coming to court trying to make me order her to return all the money you spent on the 27 not all the money which I is spent. In, well, well some of the money that you spent on her there you go it's not it's, it's still not going to happen cuz you don't have any proof that you did anything but sugar daddy the hell out of this so you reap what you sow verdict for the defendant stick around because after the break Doug's going to be in the hallway with the litigants Well, the plaintiff, it didn't work out, Mr. Palicelli. No, not at all. I can't help it if she lies. Well, what else am I going to do? She offered to sign something. I trusted her. She didn't. And now what? What do you think? These are all made up? You should have had her sign it. Yeah, well, that's hindsight. Well, you know, you kind of trust somebody, you know? And it was the wrong person to trust. You feel like you've been taken for a royal ride? At yeah, this because point? she's a liar. Well, you got a good lecture from the judge. Yeah, what does that buy me? learned a lesson. You know? No lesson to be learned here. She called you sugar daddy. She didn't call me anything she wants. Everybody's <laughs> entitled to their opinion. Okay. All right, sir, I'm so sorry, but you know what no here in court. Bye. They are gifts. Stephanie? Hello. Do you feel like you took him for a ride? Oh, uh, maybe. Seriously? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Be honest. I'm serious. He offered to yeah. get me gifts, so I said, yeah. What girl doesn't want gifts? Wow. Okay, well, you prevailed in court. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Harvey? So look, when you're loaning somebody money who you're involved with, there's an assumption, I think, that it's a gift. So if it isn't a gift, if it's a loan, get it in writing. 